Hello everybody, welcome back to Bizarre Repairs and Reviews. On today's video we have the NCGO Skyus 160 Wireless Cellular Gateway. This great device can give you internet connectivity almost anywhere. So let's check it out. All right, like I said in the intro, this is the NCGO Skyus 160 Wireless Cellular Gateway. This fantastic device allows you to connect to the internet and gives you routing capabilities pretty much anywhere in the world, as long as you have a cellular signal. This device is, uh, the network for this device is Verizon, and the, the device here actually has three antennas one GPS and two cellular antennas that we will connect to the device a little bit later. The datum plan I'm on is usually $79.99 a month, but I got a special for $29.99 through Verizon. Okay, to power the device, you have your standard AC outlet, and you can also power the device through micro USB as well. I do wish it was USB-C, but hey, All right, grabbing the device itself. Feels pretty good, very well built. Nice feel, touch uh, feels very nice to the touch. Very sturdy build for sure. All right, right on the front there, we have our power uh, connector there, and we have our ethernet port, micro USB, and our power button. Like I said, you can power through micro USB and the power adapter too. It also has power over ethernet through the ethernet port as well, which is very nice. All right, there's our cell one GPS and cell two antenna connectors. And what's also really cool about this device is when you pop open this back cover, you have a NCGO 4400 milliamp hour rechargeable battery pack. So if you lose power through your AC adapter or through the micro USB, you can go ahead and just power the device through the battery. Another cool feature is the dual SIM card slots right underneath the battery and your factory reset button as well. All right, so setup is very easy. Just go ahead and grab the device and plug in the antennas into the appropriate ports. Make sure the one labeled cell goes into cell and GPS goes into GPS. Screw these in nice and tight. Just don't over tighten them. And then you can rearrange the antennas however you wish. All right, I got mine just like that. Next up, you just power on the device through whatever means you wish, either AC or micro USB. And then go ahead and just wait for the cell signal. And you'll see it with the lights there when they turn green. Once they are green, you are ready to go. Okay, and now that we're connected, you may want to access the splash page to change your Wi-Fi password, admin password, and there's a boatload of other settings. So to do this, you can do it two ways. Just connect through an ethernet cable or to the wireless device itself using the IP address 192.168.1.1. Once you're in, this is what the splash page looks like, and I'm not gonna go through all the settings. There's too many to go through, but there's a lot of settings. Just be patient as the interface page can be a little slow to respond. That's what I noticed. You might click a button, it might take 20 seconds to get there. But once you're there, you are there. And like I said, you have all the software um, settings you need, including software updates. And you can change the password. Download speeds are up to 300 megabits per second, but I only got 10 up and 10 down and I was near Los Angeles. Now, just all depends on your cellular coverage. If I take this somewhere else, it can be a lot faster or a lot slower. But with the help of those cellular antennas, it should give you a pretty good connection in most places. Just some additional features. You can use the built-in ethernet um, port to plug into a switch if you need more um, ports, which is very nice. You can do things like directly connect to a printer here too, and then you'd be able to print wirelessly. You have multiple data interfaces, Ethernet, USB, Wi-Fi, 24-7 secure connectivity, multiple power interfaces, 
and you can connect up to 15 devices on Wi-Fi. This device is a great device if you want if you're on the go and you need internet connectivity with an Ethernet port. So that was the NC Go Skylus 160. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you very much.